This is a nice little question involving a geometric progression. And we're told that the sum of the first two terms is 25, and the sum of the first four terms is 250. Now we know that the general formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression is a r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1. And this looks a little bit like this result here in terms of powers. So, we're going to turn these two statements into two equations. So the sum of the first two terms is 25. So that means that 25 is equal to a, r is unknown, n is 2. So r squared minus 1 all over r minus 1. The second statement says that the sum of the first four terms is 250. So 250 is equal to a r to the power of 4 minus 1 over r minus 1. And from these two statements we can get this rule here. Now if I put brackets around the bottom of both fractions, I'm going to times it up by r minus 1. So 25 r minus 1 is a r squared minus 1. Second one, times by r minus 1, 250 r minus 1 is a r to the 4 minus 1. This is now the clever bit. If I divide that equation by that equation, then look what happens. 250 r minus 1 all over 25 r minus 1 is equal to a r to the 4 minus 1 all over a r squared minus 1. So it's that equation over that equation. The r minus 1's cancel out. 250 over 25 is 10. The a's cancel out. So 10 equals r to the power of 4 minus 1 over r squared minus 1. I've therefore shown the required result. Now to find r and a requires us to solve that equation. So, I put brackets around the bottom and times up by r squared minus 1. So I times 10 by r squared minus 1. So I get 10 r squared minus 10 is r to the 4 minus 1. I'll rearrange this to get 0 equals r to the 4. I'll take away 10 r squared. I'll add 10, so I get plus 9. Now, this equation can be factorised. Now, to get an r to the power of 4 requires an r squared and an r squared. To get a plus 9 and a minus 10 requires a minus 9 and a minus 1. Minus 9 times minus 1 is plus 9, and minus 9 take away 1 is minus 10. So this gives us lots of values for r squared. r squared could be 9, or r squared could be 1. But if r squared is 9, then r could be plus 3, or r could be minus 3. If r squared equals 1, then r is either 1, or r is minus 1. Now in the question we were told that r was not 1. I just didn't write it down. So we can ignore those two options. It leaves us with r is 3 or r is minus 3. I then need to find what, uh, what a is. But we know that we can use the equations given at the start to find out the value of a. So if we look at this first equation here, then when r is 3, 25 is a, 3 squared is 9, 9 take 1 is 8, all divided by r is 3, 3 take 1 is 2. So 25 equals 4a, so a equals 25 over 4. That's when r is 3. When r is minus 3, 25 is equal to, again, back to that first equation, Minus 3 squared is 9, 
91 is 8, but this time minus 3 take 1 is minus 4. So 25 equals minus 2a. So a equals 25 over minus 2. So we've got two pairs of values. R is 3 and a is 25 over 4, or r is minus 3 and a is 25 over minus 2.